just and the justifier of the one who has faith. Romans chapter 3 verse 26 Having been justified by faith, we have peace with God. Conscience accuses no longer. Judgment now decides for the sinner instead of against him. Memory looks back upon past sins with deep sorrow for the sin, but yet with no dread of any penalty to come. For Christ has paid the debt of his people to the last jot and tittle, and has received the divine receipt. Unless God can be so unjust as to demand double payment for one debt, no soul for whom Jesus died as a substitute can ever be cast into hell. One of the very principles of our enlightened nature is to believe that God is just. We feel that it must be so, and this gives us our terror at first. But it is marvelous that this very same belief that God is just becomes afterwards the pillar of our confidence and peace. If God is just, then I, a sinner, alone and without a substitute, must be punished. But Jesus stands in my place and is punished for me, and now, if God is just, then I, a sinner, standing in Christ, can never be punished. God would have to change his nature before one soul, for whom Jesus died as a substitute, could ever by any possibility suffer the lash of the law. Therefore, since Jesus has taken the place of the believer, and has rendered a full equivalent to divine wrath, for all that his people ought to have suffered, as the result of sin, the believer can shout with glorious triumph, who shall bring a charge against God's elect. Not God, for he has justified, not Christ, for he who died, and furthermore is also risen. My hope lives, not because I am not a sinner, but because I am a sinner for whom Christ died. My trust is not that I am holy, but that being unholy, Christ is my righteousness. My faith rests not upon what I am, or will be, or feel, or know, but in who Christ is, in what he has done, and in what he is now doing for me. The fair maiden of hope, rides like a queen on the lion of justice.